In this video, we'll learn how to use Boolean operators within library databases to make your searching more effective. Once we've selected a topic or research question and identified unique concepts within my research question and brainstormed the terms that scholars might use to discuss each concept, we can use Boolean operators in the advanced search of our library databases and in many online search engines. These Boolean operators are AND, OR, and NOT. You can see that we've already begun using the operator OR in capital letters between each similar term for each unique concept within our research question. Take, for example, how this might work in the advanced search of any of our library databases. In this case, we'll use Discover You Are, which you can access from the library's main page. Using OR in capital letters between each term tells the database to return results that contain any of the terms listed. So if I perform that search, I'll come up with results that have Avahan Initiative mentioned in the article, Avahan, HIV Prevention, or Preventative Health, both as phrases. As we add more terms for each of our unique concepts, with all the terms for each unique concept on its own line, we'll use AND operators between each row of terms. As I look through my results list, I notice that a number of those results are referring to Tanzania. Perhaps I want to eliminate those, and I can use my third Boolean operator to do that by changing it to not Tanzania. Those items that mention Tanzania will be eliminated from my results list. Just remember, the more unique concepts you add means the more terms must be present within a single resource in order for it to appear on your results list. So your results will have fewer items on a list. If you find yourself with too few results in your search, try removing one or more of the terms or mix and match terms until you find the results list that meets your research needs.